Hey man, what's going on, man? It's your boy Big C coming at you live from the town, town business, Oakland, California. I'm on my way to work, man. And um, one of the things that we're having a problem with out here is this homelessness. Oh my goodness, man. Y'all got we got to get this stuff together. We got to come together as, as people and get these people off these streets. Just, you know, it's like a lot of people camping, you know, <clears throat> drug use, uh, mental health, and um, lack of opportunity, and lack of desire. Some people are suffering from deep depression. It's hard out here, man. We gotta help our people, man. You know, in Oakland, the Bay Area, we gotta do something about this housing. These greedy people with these high bills, 3500 for a three bedroom in a bad area. Um, shit, it, it costs about two, 2500 1000 1500 for just to live, man. You know, you wake up every day, you owe some money. <laughs> so, we got to we got to get on top of these these high rents, man. So we got we got to form some kind of some kind of it was an old man in um, New York. He said the rent too damn high. That's how I feel. The rent is too goddamn high out here, man. We got to help these people out, man. They laying on the ground. So what? They so what? Get them inside. You know. That's like you know that death is is certain in these um, environments that these people have to um, live in, in this, in this big country called America, this big free country, this greatest country on earth. We got the greatest country on earth, and people are sleeping on the ground, sleeping outside, sleeping in the bushes. Come on, man, help the people, man. But, you know, some of them college students, man, they come together and rent homes together, man, rent out rooms. I took a Latino guy, Mexican guy, I picked him up in East Oakland, took him up to his house. He stayed in the Berkeley Hills, renting a room up there. You know, there's a lot of opportunities to rent rooms. You know, you just gotta, you gotta have your stuff together. You can't come in living around people and you ain't got no dang people skills. And you, you know, a lot of people are just traumatized, damaged by life, man, by all them drugs, by that falsehood in the, in the, Fake lifestyle, a gangster, thug, all that dumb shit. You know, you guys go to school, educate yourself, meditate, pray. You know, we go to drugs for everything, alcohol for everything. Just try going to prayer. Try praying, man. Meditate within yourself, however you do it. You know, call on another power greater than yourself. Really, that. That power is within you. Because the creator of this universe created everything and he put it all in you, too. You got everything that's in the universe inside of you. Channel your higher power within yourself. Snap out of it. Get off the ground. Man, you guys ask for help. Help yourself. God say, I can't help you until you help yourself, till you realize that you need some help and then you're open to the help. You're willing to receive the help. If it don't come how you want it, you say, fuck it, fuck that help. That motherfucker was talking loud to me. Fuck it, bitch, help. <laughs> Mom, get your shit together to accept the fucking help. Pull over and ask for directions. Fuck. Get the fuck off the ground, man. You know, it's a beautiful world out here, baby. It's a lot of stuff going on. You know, it's been people that came from homelessness to being billionaires. You gotta change your quality, your, your, change your, the way you get down every day, man. What are you doing every day? What are you doing for yourself, to protect yourself, to help yourself every day. 
What are you doing for your plan, man? We can want to help you. We can want to give you the assistance, you know? Shit. I was in the same predicament, man. I had to, I had to humble myself and go get that help. I'm all right now. You know, you can do it too, man. You got too many homeless people in the, in the Bay Area, in the Oakland period. The black community has been pushed out to other cities and to the streets. The real residents that born and raised in Oakland have been pushed out by these high-ass rents. And we, let's face it, some of us lost grandma house, mama house. You lost your parents' house, your family members' houses. Didn't manage them well. Got to get together. A ride in the West Oakland, you look, you can see the grandma houses. You know, they, they look just like old school grandma houses. Everybody, grandma stayed in West Oakland most. You know, at one time, in, um, if you lived in Oakland, your grandma was was in the West or in the Dubs. You know, when auntie then was in the West or the auntie with the money was in North Oakland. You know, you know it was East Oak auntie back then. East Oakland was, you know, my auntie was on, lived in the fifties. She had bought her home. Had a husband, you know, typical American, African American family, you know, and, and, and the drugs came along and they lost the fucking house. Drugs and the fedangling and the hustling, fucking up, lost the fucking houses, man. Wow, we gotta get, we gotta get better, man. We gotta do better, y'all. We need some, I got, I got a mobile shower in my agency. We waiting for this mobile shower. We're gonna be going through the town. The folks will be able to take showers and stuff like that. Um, get case management and get help. You know, find some resources for you to get out the streets. We got all that coming up, man. Working on it right now, going to a meeting today. But, we gotta, we gotta get off the ground, man, stand up. It's a lot of opportunity for business in Oakland right now. A lot of um, new people, all these apartment builders come, coming up, being put up. We got a lot of opportunity for business. Start your own homegrown community business. For people that been in the community, it's all kind of opportunity. You just got to be willing to do some, something different. It's different now. It ain't like the 80s when you go outside and, and, and double up on the 50, come up to $1,000 in one day, two days. It ain't like that. You know, you got to come out here, you got these fucking little jobs, and they make these jobs, these little tech jobs. They make sure you only make $100 an hour, I mean a day. You know, they make it hard for a nigga to get over that 200, 300. But you can do it, you gotta work two jobs. Sometimes you can go to one job, four hours, $80, $20 an hour, go to another job um, for eight hours. Go do a four hour job, then do an eight hour job. That'll get you 200 a day. You know, 200 a day during the week, you can pay some rent, you know? First of all, you gotta wash your ass and cut your hair, not your dreads, but line your shit up, be presentable, um, and, and get you some work clothes, and get your mind together, so you know, so you don't, so you don't come in, you know, niggas come in with a chip on their shoulder, you know? All life, all life, Struggle is all on your on your shoulder. <laughs> and niggas say something to you, that's the first what the fuck you talking to? Oh some bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Pick that goddamn pallet up and sit your ass down over there. And we gonna pay you at the end of the day. 
Go to work, go home, and shut the fuck up, man. Unless they disrespect you or, or, or disrespect any of the, the laws. Other than that, fuck with a motherfucker thing, man. You gotta get these people off the streets, though, man. The homeless in the Bay Area is out of pocket, you know? And we need to, um... We need to, um... We need, to, we need some serious... We need a goddamn special counsel, like Robert Mueller. <laughs> we need a special investigation, you know? If, if the trees start falling, or some dogs start dying, it was fucked up out here, we get a lot of help. But just because it's black, and, and black poor people, and Latino poor people, and even poor whites, the poor, just because it's the poor, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, man, send help, SOS. Homeless crisis in Oakland, California, in the Bay Area. Peace and blessings.